Hello. So today I got a new toy. I've been wanting one of these for a while. It is a Walther PPQ in 11.4 millimeter or 45 ACP as you Americans say. Yep, this is the 45 ACP PPQ. Um, I have the nine millimeter version of it and I have the 22 caliber version of it and I love both of them they're great guns and I finally found the 45 ACP version now if they'd only made a 10 millimeter version so let's start with what comes in the box so first you get the uh the gun with the little flag thing you get a lock in it the instructions are up in there um you get this is the left or it's the right side as they they put it right mag button so if you want to swap out your mag release you use this and it's basically this but for the other side so it comes with that it comes with only one extra back strap and it's, as you can see it's got like a, a little wing thing that goes up in there for like it's almost like a beaver tail but, um, so, it's about the same size. You know, maybe a little bit bigger. But, oh well, you know, I usually like the smaller sizes because I got uh, small hands. But, other than that, it comes with uh, 212 round mags. So, let's put this aside and see how it is. So, we'll start with getting the weights on things in the trigger pull so it's empty so the weight is 28.7 ounces and the trigger pull on it is i got four pounds one ounce now that's one thing i i have to say about the walthers walthers are incredible for the trigger pulls the trigger pulls are just you know they're so smooth and sweet. So let's start with that. So the trigger, it's got the little Glock style thing there and it, it breaks right there. And then the reset is right there. So, I mean, that's, that's how nice it is. And then the reset right there. And it's super smooth. It's, it's this is why I started buying Walthers. The trigger pulls are unmatched. They're just factory-wise, they're incredible. So, uh, some of the features that you see, this is, of course, the mag release. Um, this is the slide release, which is ambidextrous. And like I was just saying about the mag release, it's you could swap it out. Um, it's got the clock style uh, trigger safety, and it comes, you know, there's the takedown for it. It comes with a pick rail, front serrations, rear serrations. Um, it's got the ergonomics on these things are just incredible. That's why I like them. Um, let's compare it to the nine millimeter size. So, I don't know. They, they, it looks like, yeah, this is smaller than this. So it is a little bit smaller. I mean, this is 45. I don't know how well you can see the difference, but it is, it is a little bit smaller. You could feel it. Um, the size of the slide, same thing. The, the 45 is a little bit bigger on it. It's a, a little bit longer, not much. It, overall, the size is pretty close. It doesn't fit in, like I've got, um, competition holsters for this. It doesn't fit. It's a little bit too big for that. So, and it's a little bit chunkier up front. So, it's not a huge difference, but it's enough that if it's a custom fit holster, you know, the, some of these competition Kydex holsters, they they barely fit the gun. They're so tight. But um, the sights is a typical three-dot sights. Uh, and this, you know, you can drift it. Well, actually, there's a screw right there. So I'm assuming that it's adjustable to a certain degree. So, um, yeah, and like I said, it comes with two 12-round mags and stuff. Texturing's great. 
and everything. Um, so let's take it out to the range and see how it shoots. Hello. So today we're out here with a new toy. This is a Walther PPQ and 45 ACP. I've been wanting one of these. I've got a nine millimeter, so we'll see how it does in 45. But I got a target set up at 10 yards. First mag was good. These are 12 round mags and I'm just shooting the uh, cellar and bellet stuff. So, nothing special. Special. No problems. Again, this is a Walther PPQ and 45 ACP. So, out at the range, uh, it did pretty good. That was uh, how it did when I was filming, and then I did some slow fire, and that's what I did. This is two mags, and this is two mags worth. So, uh, this is a pretty good grouping. It's like a four inch grouping. Uh, so, yeah, and that was firing uh, just to sell it and bell it um, 45 ACP 230 grains. So, you know, um, so taking it apart, you take the mag out first. I, I have a tendency of forgetting that. And then you just pull back, pull these things down, pull the trigger, and it comes right off. And then you take the spring off and the barrel. Just like that so it's pretty much the same as most uh semis nowadays a lot of glock style semis so and then to put it back together you just put the spring in there's a little notch there before i do that actually i don't know if the camera can if you could see it down the barrel but the barrel was super like it's got a polygonal rifling so it looks like smooth bore, but it's really the nice the rifling so the accuracy was really good so so like i said and then there's a little half not you know half round notch that you put the spring in and then you just slide the slide back on come on there we go and there you go it's back together so yeah the gun shoots phenomenal. The trigger's phenomenal. Everything about the Walthers I love. Um, so, so I can't say enough good things about it. And this is right on par with the uh, 9mm version that I got. Uh, it's just a little bit chunkier. But, you know, 13, you know 12 rounds of uh, ammo, that's pretty good. Because if you compare it to, like, a, you know, the Glock 21s, which have 13 rounds and about the same size gun. So, but like I said, I mean, this is, you know, almost the exact same size as the 9mm. It's just a hair longer and the height-wise and, you know, width-wise is just because it's a 45. But it's not, like, huge difference compared to uh, the 9mm. But... It's a gun that I've been wanting for a while because I like the 9mm and I wanted to get the 45 caliber and maybe someday they'll make it in 10mm. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you have a good day.